All right, we're gonna do limits and derivatives today. So I have this function, f of x equals 2x cubed plus 5x squared. So let's take a look at it. It's 2x cubed plus 5x squared. The first thing I wanna do is find the derivative of it. So we're gonna use the power rule. We're gonna take that three and the exponent and multiply it by the two. And that's gonna give me six. And then x, I'm minus 1 from that 3. So 3 minus 1 is 6x squared. And then I do the derivative power rule for this term. So 2 times 5 is 10x. And then I'm minus 1 from the 2. So it's going to be x to the first. So that's my first question. What's the derivative of 2x cubed plus 5x squared? Number 2, I want to know what the value is at 0 for the derivative. So I already took the derivative, now I take that zero and I plug it in wherever there's an x value in the derivative. So it's gonna be six times something squared plus 10 times something. And that something in, the, in this instant is gonna be zero. So I put the zero there and the zero there. So let's see what we have. So zero squared is zero, zero times six is zero. 10 times zero is zero, that equals zero. So answer number one, that's the derivative. And this is the derivative when I plug in zero. Number three, let's find the derivative, f prime, of one. So I have six x squared plus 10 x. Six times something squared plus 10 times something. But this time, instead of throwing in the zero, I'm gonna throw in that one. One squared is one. And then I'm gonna do the evaluation. So 6 times 1 is 6. 10 times 1 is 10. That's going to equal 16. Number 4. Now number 4, I'm going to let you do on your own. So I want to find the derivative at x equals 2 of 6x squared plus 10x. And I want to ask you that question through Google Classroom. Now, we're going to go from taking derivatives to taking limits. So I'm going to have the same function, f of x equals 2x cubed plus 5x squared. And now, instead of taking the derivative of that, we're going to take the limit at a point. So number five, I want to find the limit as x approaches zero of f of x. So all that means is I take that zero and I plug it into f of x. Looks familiar. So two times something cubed plus five times something squared. And in there, I'm gonna place that zero. The limit as x gets close to zero. So that's gonna give me zero cubed is zero, two times zero, that's gonna give me zero plus zero squared is zero times five zero. And here's how this reads. The limit as x approaches zero of f of x equals zero. Number six. This time I want to take the limit as x approaches two of f of x. So that means I want to take that original function, two times something cubed plus five times something squared, and I'm going to plug in whatever that something is. And in this case, that something is the two. So my arithmetic, 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2, that's 4 times 2, that's going to be 8, and then 8 times 2 is 16. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 5 is 20, that's going to equal 26. The limit as x approaches 2 of f of x equals 26. Last one, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x equals 2 times something cubed plus 5 times something squared. I'm going to let you do this one on your own. I'm going to ask you the question in Google Classroom. 
Okay, more limits and derivatives. This one's gonna be more basic. So it's actually gonna seem a little bit more difficult for some reason. So limits and derivatives. Um, and this time we're gonna do y equals 3x plus one. Now, I can graph that. So if I were to put my x, y axis, I be, be, begin at positive one. And then from there, I go up three over one. One, two, three over one. And my slope goes up three over one. Then I would go down one, two, three over one. And this would be what my, my equation, my f of x looked like. So I'm gonna start off with limits on this one. Number eight. The limit as x approaches zero of f of x equals. Now there's two ways I can do this. I can plug that zero in for x or I can go to the graph and notice, at x equals zero, as I come from the left and from the right, it's gonna squeeze that point, that y value one. A limit is the y value. So if I plug that in, I get the same answer, three times something plus one, and that something in this case is gonna be zero. So zero plus one, that equals one. Number nine. Limit as x approaches two. Now this one isn't on my graph. I don't go over that far. So it might be more convenient, easier for me to just do the algebraic. So I plug the two in for wherever the x is. So three times two, that's gonna give me six. Six plus one, the limit as x approaches two of f of x equals seven. Number 10, I'm gonna let you do on your own. What's the limit as x approaches one of f of x equals? So if I pan out, you can see what f of x is. Let's see if you can't figure out what the limit goes to. And again, I'm gonna ask you that in the Google Classroom. Now we're gonna do some derivatives, number 11. Let me rewrite this so you can see it. f of x equals three x plus one. This is gonna seem really strange. What's f prime of x equal? Now let's recall there's a hidden one up here. What's one times three? That's gonna give me three. And then I do one minus one, which is zero. So what's x to the zero equal? One. The derivative of this is zero. So the slope of this line is three. Number 12. Now I'm gonna find the slope at some point. F prime of zero equals. So here's the issue. I have to take that zero and plug it in for x, but there's no place to plug it in. I am confusion. So I just put three. The answer is gonna be three. For number 13, what's f prime of two? Again, there's no place for me to plug the two in. So the slope is gonna be three. And then number 14, I'm gonna leave for you to do all by yourself. So what's the slope at x equals negative 25. See if you can't figure that one out. 